Well, welcome back to my Ford Transit uh, Mark 8 camper van build. And this is sort of follow on from the last episode, which was playing with these lithium batteries. I mentioned at the end of that episode, I needed to put a few more um, safety procedures into the uh, electrical system for the van because the BMS in these, the battery management systems, isn't a true one and it can't disconnect in the event of high voltage, low voltage, and cold charge temp temperatures. So, this episode I'm going to be installing a Victron uh, BMV 712 um, battery monitoring system because I can connect to my other Victron kit and I can start implementing some of those safety procedures. So, it's going to be an electrical video. Let's get cracking. In the box, we've got a few things. We've got the actual unit itself. Uh, and then we've got the shunt. So this is going to go on the negative um, of the negative, or next to the negative on the battery bank. And the minute I'm going to carry on using the lead acid battery bank, later on we'll switch this over to the uh, lithium. And this is going to be able to monitor all the energy going through the system, both coming in and going out. So we're going to get that installed. Communications wire to connect it, and presumably some other wires, which I'll probably read the instructions and find out what they do. This, however, is quite a chunky manual, but there appears to be a really small, quick installation guide, which is what I think we're going to use. Right, I might give this a read and figure out what it all means first. Well, there isn't actually much we need to do. Uh, this gets its power through that data cable, which goes into this. And this, on the other hand, is negative because it's off the negative end, and we just have to run a small um, positive to the positive of the battery. And that's it powered on. So all I need to do is just make a little, a short little cable like that to go between the negative terminal and here. And then I'll just rebolt the other one on the end. Cool, I want to do that then. Before we do anything, I'm actually going to make sure the master switches off and everything else as well. So, isolators off, and then we're going to turn the master off as well. So the system is now off. So this one goes to the load. So I'm probably going to temporarily place it here just because I'm going to, when I put the lithiums in, I'm going to move this battery bank slightly further back so I can fit the three batteries in easier. So I'm just going to probably stick that down for now. We'll just undo that first and then we'll do this bit. So I need to run the power from the positive of positive terminal to the B1 slot. So I've just been trying to figure out how you insert these into here, it turns out it's just push it in and they clip, they clip. Right, let's tidy that out of the way. Right there. So we can now get this on. Again, I haven't, don't quite know yet where I'm gonna cite this. So let's just get it plugged in and have a play. So let's power up the system. It's on saying battery cap capacity setup. I think what we're going to do is we're just going to log into the app and go from there, really. Yep, 
need to update the firmware. So whilst it's updating, the main reason I went for this is it's got relay options in the back and it can speak to some of my other bits of Victron kit. So it can speak to my MPPT solar charger um, and it can also speak to my battery protect as well which is another Victron bit of kit I've not installed yet but I'm going to be installing in a later video. So it just updated itself from 2.0, 2 I need to do another update now. Right, settings, battery, battery capacity, so actually it's 190 amp hours. 190 amp hours. So all being well, if I turn something on, the leaf should start to change because I'm using power. So let's try the uh, fan. So that's the Max Air fan running on full whack. Let's put that on 10%, which is what our brakey got on continually anyway. So it doesn't use much power at all. Right, let's turn it off. Next, let's uh, turn the engine on. And see the battery battery charger in working. There we go. So I presume that means it's taking 3.3 amps, 3.7 amps at the minute. Well, Quite a short episode getting this installed, um, but kind of just shows you how simple it is, is to put in a BMV um, 712 smart battery monitor from Victron. Just super simple. So there's going to be more to this. I mean, in the next episode, I'm going to start putting in some of the safety protocols for the lithium batteries we've got. So figuring out how to do the low temperature disconnect, low voltage disconnect, high voltage disconnect. And sort of figuring out it that from there where this is going to play a big part of it or the programming you can do via this and how this can speak to the other bits of it drunk kit in the van such as the um solar mm solar mpmpt and the dc to dc charger but that's pretty much going to be it for this video so i know it's a short one but thank you very much for joining me Feel free to subscribe. If you have any questions, find me uh, on Instagram and shoot me some messages. I'm happy to answer them if they're van related. And I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.